up guys all right so more or less i know some of you guys are upset um i've been supposed to put the reverse cameras on the car just been going through a lot been doing a lot working a lot so either way the camera that i basically got is the x-tron you know i went online i went to amazon just looked up for reverse cameras for x-tron they sent me this uh, it was fairly cheap it was about uh I'm gonna say about 20 20 20 dollars 25 dollars it wasn't too expensive it wasn't too expensive so the kit basically comes like this and it comes with a little i guess manual how you could run the wires i'll take a look at it and you always want to take a look at the manual whether you already know what you're doing or not because sometimes they switch stuff up they switch stuff up they switch things around so that's what we got we have the camera itself all right which is fairly small not too bad not too bad it has a little lights there for night vision and whatnot or what the fuck are they for and you have the R RCR wires RJ wires whatever you call those wires and then you have the this wire basically and this wire so I'm guessing this wire plugs in right here I guess this goes to a power source right so I'm guessing I'll plug this to the battery or the lights or the wire for the amp well this car doesn't have an amp so most likely I'll just plug this to a ground in the trunk and a constant power wire in the trunk or maybe to the lights you know you don't really need it until you have the lights on so I might plug it to the brake lights or something okay now this wire as we know goes all the way to the freaking TV so it's pretty long I'm guessing right I don't know what the hell this little red wire is for us you got the yellow wire and this little red wire and it's on both sides so I don't know what they are for but I will figure it out and I will let you guys know so now next thing we're gonna do is look up basically where we're gonna install it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install it somewhere around here oh yes you see it or in that little box because it's, it's made to fit in one of these so i'm gonna install it probably right there so first thing you gotta do is more or less i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the seat out i'm gonna take all this trim out all the, all the way to the front take all this trim out because it's going to go underneath it might go underneath this or I might make it go through the center council right here all the way up there I think that might be easier so I might do that so that's the plan that we're doing so from the plan to executing it to executing it it's two different things you guys already know so just bear with me and let's make this happen.
So basically now we gotta look for a spot. Let's put the camera and run the wire. So if we look here, we wanna put this somewhere towards the middle. Or oh, I would wanna put it somewhere towards the middle. And the only place to run these wires are through this. Where I put this, then take the plastic off. Anyway, so this goes in here. This is the light for the for the license plates. So if I run these wires through that hole, it's gonna be a little tight. It's gonna touch one of these. So I gotta see if I wanna run through there or if I wanna make my own hole. And then just gotta paint it and seal it right. Which I'm not sure. So. Or I could run the wire through the light. Fix it. That's probably better. Put the, put the camera right here somewhere. Right? And then just run this wire towards the light, like behind the light. So I'm going to take this light off and then see uh, what it's looking like back there. Because I don't want to make any holes or anything extra in the car if I don't have to. So what I did was I bought an extra wire, a long wire. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap whoever the reverse light is right here and I'm gonna send it straight to the front instead of trying to look for it behind the dash and I, I can't really find it um, I bought another tester because the one I have kind of broke so I bought another tester to see if I can find it again if not that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run the wire from the back to the front um, alongside the ACR ACH whatever you call that wire that goes um, for the video anyways for the video feed so that's what we're gonna do all right
green and the black are the positive and negative. The black being the negative, the green being the positive. So I'm going to run this wire, the red positive and the green negative. Well, the red is going to be green and the black is going to be black. I'm going to run them right here. So that whenever I put the reverse on, it's going to power the camera for the camera to turn on. And what I'm going to do as well is connect this wire to that reverse camera as well. To that same, to the same green button, to the same green wire. So that's what I'm going to do now. So basically what I did here was I uh, spliced a little bit of this wire just to get contact. Of this wire and this wire and then I grabbed an extra piece of wire right and I connected them all together right here so they could all so I could just run electricity into one into this one and both of these are gonna get electricity right so basically I just spliced I just did two I did one run into two Basically, now this one is the one that I'm going to clip. One of these. No. You put the wire in here on one side. Okay. You put the wire on one side. The other wire from the light bulb on the other side. And then, as you basically press down this little metal piece. It's gonna basically split the one wire and the other connecting them so that there's light going through it so that's what this wire is for so it can get connected all right so basically what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna use some alcohol and i'm gonna clean the surface where i'm gonna put the camera um personally i like to screw things on um but if you clean and you prep the surface right you don't necessarily have to do that so this kit comes with the double-sided adhesive so that's what I'm gonna be using um, it also comes with little screws like I said I don't want to screw anything just in case I want to take it off in the future so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the camera right here and I'm gonna run the wire behind the light and in through all these holes basically uh, so it can get sandwiched in with this uh, rubber piece I'm, I'm probably gonna lift the rubber a little bit right here which is this rubber is kind of old but I'm gonna lift it up a little bit and make the wire go behind it so when I put the light on and tighten it up it'll squeeze the wire between the rubber and the light fixture so the rubber will go or wrap around the wire itself clean the surface and just make sure this size right here fits that little bone looking area and shit so just make sure when you do it right make sure you don't touch it either especially if your hands are dirty so alright so basically the same process with the other side grab the blue put it all the way on the other side bring the black from this wire up against it and close the door or attempt to close it so now same thing you gotta grab the pliers and give it a shit on that. Grab the pliers and squeeze. The pliers you wanna squeeze where the metal is. There's a metal right here in the middle. So that's where you wanna squeeze. And you wanna make sure it comes all the way through. So this door closed, this one's good. 
but I always like to be cautious so I will still tape it just to make sure it doesn't move and it doesn't go anywhere you know? so make sure it's closed and it remains closed so that's it so now the yellow goes with the yellow and the red with the red so these wires I just tuck them in so you don't see them like that what I might do is hold on. all this excessive wire I'm going to just tape it all together so real quick see it see it bring it right here Just so it could be nice and clean. So it's out the way. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry some, about something getting stuck to it, you know? So, just like that. So now these get put away. More or less. Make sure it doesn't come off. You know? Now you plug this back to the lamp. Uh, I think this is this one because it's the reverse camera. And this is the one in the So basically, this one is the white light, right? This light right here. So that's it. Looks good. Doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. Now, this we could either put back together or remember we're gonna run a wire from here all the way to the front. So let's see if I can find uh reverse light in the front all right so basically that, that's done you guys see i basically glued it right here it looks pretty good pretty sturdy and then if you guys can see the wire it goes right here to the top of the tail light all the way to where the hole is so you can't really see it like that you can't even you can barely see the camera right there but you definitely don't see the wire and in here it comes out through right there and like I said squeezed in between the rubber piece and the metal now the next thing I'll do is run this wire and run this wire but what I'm gonna do is this wire right here it goes to a positive and negative and I'm probably gonna use the same wire positive and negative as the one for the lights so as soon as the lights go on um the camera is going to have power or better yet i might run it to a constant so that it always got power because if the lights are off then that means it's not going to get any power so we're going to do that right now
it's not 100% high definition, but it's not too bad. As long as you can see where you're going and you don't hit nothing, I think that's what's important. So, that's how you install the reverse camera.